Metals are naturally occurring chemicals under the Earth's surface. Most metals have a shiny or glossy finish. Metals are a class of substances marked by their high electrical and thermal conductivity, malleability, ductility, and high light reflectance. After the Bronze Period, which lasted from around 3300 to 1200 BCE, people discovered many metals and employed them for a variety of uses. These many types of metals were developed later and employed for other reasons. Contemporary scientists have discovered new elements and enhanced these metals even further. Large organizations are presently using these metals in hundreds of applications based on market need. The most often found elements in the crust of the Earth are iron, calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, and aluminum. While most metals are found in ores, or materials that include minerals, others, like copper, gold, platinum, and silver, are typically found in their free state because they do not react easily with other elements. Substances can be classified as either metals or non-metals based on their physical and chemical characteristics. Because there is a strong metallic link between atoms and metals, these elements are frequently hard. Conversely, non-metals are usually weak constituents. Metals are elements with one, two, or three electrons in the valence shell. Non-metals are defined as elements with four, five, six, or seven electrons in their outermost shell. The majority of elements in the periodic table are metals. Elements are categorized as metal, non-metal, and metalloid in this periodic table. On the left side of the periodic table, the metals are all clustered together. Take note of how hydrogen is grouped with the metals in the upper left corner. Hydrogen is categorized as a non-metal even though it is termed a metal. There are scientists who think that the core of Jupiter may contain metallic hydrogen. Hardness. Hardness is the ability of a metal to resist cutting, abrasion, penetration, and long-term deformation. Every metal has two properties in common, strength and hardness. Brittleness. Brittleness is the property of a metal that allows it to bend or deform just a little bit before breaking. A delicate metal can break or split without altering shape. Steels with high carbon content are brittle metals. Malleability, if a metal can be bent, rolled, or pushed into various forms without cracking, fracturing, or experiencing any other unfavorable consequences, then it is said to be flexible. Ductility, the capacity of a metal to be permanently bent, twisted, or pulled into new shapes without breaking is known as ductility. This property is required of the metals used to make wire and tubing. Elasticity Elasticity is the capacity of a metal to return to its original shape when the external force that caused the change in shape is eliminated. Every metal has an elastic limit that can't be exceeded without causing the substance irreparable harm. Toughness Tough materials can withstand tearing or shearing and can be twisted or stretched in many ways without shattering. Density, this represents a substance's weight per unit volume. Fusibility, fusibility is the ability of a metal to change from a solid to a liquid at high temperatures. Conductivity, heat and electricity may be transferred by metals due to their conductivity. Metals are categorized according to their density, melting point, luster, superior heat and thermal conductivity, hardness, and capacity for sound reverberation. As mentioned before, characteristics may be used to categorize metals. The categories for metals are as follows.
Based on the periodic table and their atomic structure, metals are divided into five classes. Alkali metals. The first column on the left side of the periodic table contains alkali metals, which are soft metals that are very reactive. The six alkali metals are cesium, lithium, potassium, rubidium, francium, and sodium. There is one electron in their outermost subshell. Alkaline earth metals. Because they have two electrons in their outermost subshell, these metals are denser and harder than alkali metals. When they burn, their flames take on a certain hue. There are six alkaline earth metals, magnesium, strontium, calcium, beryllium, and radium. On the left side of the periodic chart, they are mentioned in column 2. Transition metals. Because of their greater density as compared to alkali or alkaline earth metals, transition metals are commonly used as heavy metals. They are situated in the center of the periodic table's main body. Gold, copper, iron, silver, tungsten, zinc, titanium, platinum, cobalt, and other elements are examples of transition metals. The periodic table has 38 transition metals. Rare earth elements, technology metals, sometimes referred to as rare earth metals, are extensively used in today's high-tech setting. Rare earth metals fall into two categories, actinides and lanthanides. The periodic table has 15 lanthanides and 15 actinides. Cerium, gadolinium, promethium, dysprosium, and other metals are examples of lanthanide metals. Among the actinide metals are plutonium, uranium, thorium, and californium. Post-transition metals. Post-transition metals frequently have lower melting points and are softer. Lead, bismuth, and other post-transition metals are among the tin and aluminum alloys. Pure metal and alloys are the two categories into which metals are divided according to the presence of additional elements. The one element that makes up pure metal is the pure element. According to the periodic table, every type of metal specified in the preceding category is a pure metal. An alloy, on the other hand, is composed of many metal elements. Metals and non-metals used as alloying elements are added on purpose to obtain certain properties. Brass, steel, cast iron, and other metals are examples of alloy metals. The presence of iron is often used to categorize metals. A metal that contains iron is called a ferrous metal. Metals that aren't ferrous are ones that don't contain iron. Stainless steel, alloy steel, carbon steel, and other metals are examples of ferrous metals. Aluminum, titanium, copper, brass, zinc, bronze, magnesium, and other metals are examples of non-ferrous metals. Additionally, two groups of metals are distinguished by their magnetic properties. Metals that resist or are attracted to magnetic forces are known as magnetic metals. There are three categories for magnetic metals, diamagnetic, paramagnetic, and ferromagnetic. Cobalt, steel, nickel, iron, and other metals are examples of magnetic materials. Non-magnetic metals. Non-magnetic metals are not attracted to or repelled by magnetic force. Common metals like copper, silver, gold, magnesium, zinc, aluminum, and so forth are examples of non-magnetic metals. According to their mechanical characteristics, metals may be divided into two groups brittle metals and ductile metals. At room temperature, the majority of metals found in nature, including steel, aluminum, gold, silver, copper, and so on, are ductile. Still, 
Very few metals are brittle. Beryllium, gallium, chromium, cast iron, manganese, bismuth, and other metals are examples of brittle metals. Based on how they react chemically with other elements, metals may be divided into two categories. The two sorts of metals are noble metals and base metals. Base metals are those that oxidize or corrode readily. Iron, zinc, lead, nickel, and other metals that oxidize easily are examples of base metals. Because they are resistant to corrosion, noble metals are the exact opposite of base metals. Gold, platinum, rhodium, silver, and other metals are examples of noble metals. Because of their high monetary value, precious metals are important to the economy. Precious metals have a high brightness, superior electrical conductivity, and are less reactive chemically. Gold and silver are the most well-known and often utilized precious metals. Precious metals include rhodium, palladium, iridium, platinum, and other valuable metals. Refractory metals, due to its resistance to severe heat and wear, a certain class of metals is referred to as refractory metals. This group includes tungsten, niobium, tantalum, molybdenum, rhenium, and other metals having melting temperatures higher than 2000 C. White metals, a group of low melting point metals having a white hue are referred to as white metals. This group of metals includes bismuth, cadmium, zinc, lead, and tin. Light metals, typically having a low density compared to other metals, these metals are light in weight. Magnesium, titanium, and aluminum are important light metals with significant commercial worth. Metals are frequently incredibly strong, resilient, and resistant to normal wear and tear. They have thus been used in the past for a number of reasons. Metals have a vital role in the economy. In the building industry, metals are the most often used material. Two of the most common metals used in the building of buildings, including resonances, are iron and steel. Electronics. Metals are utilized to make cables and parts for electrically powered devices and equipment because they are good electrical conductors. In medicine, metal elements are required for a number of processes, including the transmission of nerve impulses, the movement of oxygen, enzyme reactions, and more. A variety of drugs are combined with metal compounds to treat certain imbalances or conditions. Antacids contain metals including iron, calcium, magnesium, potassium, titanium, and aluminum that are frequently employed in medicine. Iron, aluminum, and steel are the metals that are used in homes the most. Most cooking utensils are composed of metal, primarily copper, aluminum, and steel. The ability of metals to withstand high temperatures makes them desirable. Automobiles and machinery, metals are widely utilized in the production of farming, industrial, and agricultural machinery. They are also employed in the construction of automobiles, including trucks, trains, aircraft, and rockets. Other uses, metal is used to make most contemporary furniture. The military uses metals to make ammunition and weaponry as well. Galvanizing uses certain metals to stop metals from corroding. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring.